Okay, wanted to do part one of respiration, the airway, uh, focusing in this unit more than any other focuses in on structure function. So let's go. Uh, first thing we need to understand, if we haven't already, why we need a respiratory system. We need a respiratory system uh, for two specific functions. One, to capture uh, from the air around us oxygen and then to deliver it uh, to the cells uh, and then the last part, the most important part of respiration is this uh, burning of the glucose with oxygen to produce the second part of respiration. We have to get rid of this waste that is produced uh, and ex put it out in our exhaled air, just like you put your gar garbage out by the, the, the curb. So respiration, the respiratory system, is a system designed to capture oxygen uh, and then deliver it through the bloodstream to the actual cell. So here we're seeing the delivery, the drop off of the oxygen, um, and that's part one, two, three, and four of respiration. So four parts to respiration. Uh, we're really only conscious of one uh, because it it we're aware of it, breathing. So breathing is going to involve the airway and that's what we're trying to walk through. Uh, part two would be called external respiration. This is a respiration that's occurring between the pulmonary capillaries and the lungs. So the pulmonary capillaries and the lungs, the air in the lungs. Next part of respiration is internal respiration because it's happening inside our body. So this is the respiration that occurs between our systemic capillaries and our body cells. Uh, third, or fourth, sorry, last is the most important one because it's what keeps us alive in terms of making ATP. It happens in the mitochondria and it was the first thing we really focused on, first chemistry, uh, the reaction for cellular respiration. So one breathing, two external, three internal, four cellular. Uh, so structure function, reoccurring theme of biology. And if you haven't yet figured this out, I would uh, ask you to uh, pause and consider it. Way back when we first descri des described protein structure, protein st structure is three-dimensional and this allows it to have a function. So again, just a reminder, right, this is runs through the course. Structure of a protein controls its function, tying this to blood. Uh, we did this as an example in a uh, circulatory system, sickle cell or misshapen hemoglobin, the misshapen protein. So its structure affects uh, how it functions in the body. It doesn't allow it to transport oxygen as well. Okay, so the pathway, uh, pretty straightforward, easy, if you don't know it yet, starting with the nose. Uh, nasal cavity, the nose is the actual thing on your face, right? Uh, the nostril is the opening behind it, the nasal passage leading to the dual passageway for air for food in the digestive system. We already talked about that. Now we're not going behind, we're going in front. We remember the epiglottis, a flap that can open during breathing, close during swallowing. The trachea, or sorry, on the top, the voice box having two tendons, which are the vocal cords, um, to produce your voice, trachea, having C-ring cartilage aligned with cilia, having mucus, these branch into the right and to the left, bronchi, which branch again to become the bronchioles or bronch bronchial trees, they end off in the dead end sacs where gas exchange occurs, the alveoli. So that is the airway, um, and that, right, is something important. Uh, we could go through the function of each, and I hope, I assume that you're going to do that. Uh, but we need to understand this airway. Why do we have it? We have it to clean, to filter, to moisten, and warm the air. So we want to look at and examine each part of the airway 
in mind of what is it doing to clean or filter or warm or moisten. So starting with the nasal cavity, uh, the nasal cavity, we have mucus. The mucus uh, there traps mucus, it traps particles. Uh, the nasal cavity is rich in capillaries. This is going to warm the air and unfortunately for some of us we have nosebleeds, right? We know there's capillaries there and if you go home and look up into your nostril cavity you can see the little capillaries right close. Uh, epiglottis can close to prevent solids from entering. The larynx is about the voice, so it's not about cleaning, filtering, and warming. The trachea has cilia. The trachea has mucus. And the mucus traps, same, same as what in the nose, the cilia sweep. So just like I sweep my kitchen floor to remove debris, the cilia sweep debris up. The uh, respiratory tract it might accumulate in mucus here and then you go <clears throat> to clear it out or you might swallow it down and it will go into the stomach which is acidic and then the acidity will destroy it. Uh, going into the bronchi, bronchi same as the bronchioles or sorry same as the trachea they also have mucus and they also have cilia. Mucus traps, cilia sweeps. Bronchioles do not have, uh, bronchioles do not have cilia and mucus. Uh, they have smooth muscle, which can contract and dilate to regulate uh, uh, airflow into your lungs. Uh, so this can help regulate airflow, not really cleaning, filtering, um, and warming the air. Okay, quickly, fighting against the clock here, av av alveoli uh, looking like a bunch of grapes. Okay, so singular one, alveolus, many alveoli, and we're seeing the uh, bronchioles leading in. It is at the alveoli that the oxygen is going to exit the alveoli, the air in the alveoli, and it's going to enter the bloodstream and my pen is just goes off all the time, drives me crazy. So the oxygen from the air, not from, we don't inhale oxygen, we inhale air, enters the bloodstream. Carbon dioxide simultaneously is exiting the bloodstream, entering the alveoli. So these are three different views of them here. We're seeing it again, gas one would be, hopefully we know, carbon dioxide. Gas two here coming into the blood would be the oxygen. Blood in, this would be coming from the heart through via the pulmonary artery. So we cannot forget that from our last unit. Blood out will be the pulmonary vein. Trying to finish up before my little timer is going to go. So a big theme, and you could stop it right here and copy this down, is structure function. Alveoli are specially designed. There we go, time is up. I'm going to hustle to finish it up. You can stop there and copy it down. So the keys to this unit, key points, were uh, structure function, uh, the airway, and how the alveoli uh, are special in terms of gas exchange. Hope that helps.